Hi, folks. My name is Carlos Morales. I work at uh, Anvic, running the AI team. And today I'm going to show you a quick demo of our Speaker ID uh, neural network model. So, what Speaker ID is, is, is this very basic concept. You're all familiar with it. Uh, when you buy a new uh, smart device, you're usually asked to enroll your voice. If, you, if it's one of these devices that listens to you, it'll ask you to repeat a phrase a few times until it learns what your voice sounds like. And the reason you do that is so that other people can't trigger it by mistake. And there's something I used to do in the early days of AI when, when Alexa came out and no one was securing it. They really hadn't paid much attention to security. The first thing I would do every time I walked into a house was say, hey, Alexa, buy a one gallon vat of mayonnaise. And it worked uh, way more often than it should. So with speaker ID, you avoid that kind of uh, confusion. Um, behind the scenes, there's actually two models here. Uh, there's a voice activity detection model that's a very light, lightweight model that's running in the background. All it's doing is just listening to the microphone. When there's something that sounds like voice, um, that's when it, it, you know, it collects some of that voice and it sends, when it has enough, it sends it to the neural uh, network ID. Now, there's two steps, right? There's two phases of this. One is the enrollment phase, where you're kind of recording your voice multiple times. And one is the identify phase. So yeah, after you've enrolled the speaker uh, by saying enough phrases, um, then you will, uh, you'll be in that database. And the next time you talk, it'll identify you as that speaker. Now, in this demo, we're using Bluetooth uh, Low Energy BLE. It's only so I can show you, uh, show you some results on a Chrome uh, browser. I mean, you don't have to install a bunch of software to, to see how this works. Um, and for this demo, we're going to be using this guy, which is a uh, Apollo 4 uh, Plus Blue. I think it's a KXR version or KBR. I love this track. Um, and the Apollo 4 with a, a microphone and uh, Bluetooth will work uh, for this. And of course, this, the speaker ID can run on any Apollo uh, device. You don't need uh, you don't need Bluetooth. It's just for the demo. All right. Without further ado, let's get the demo going. So here we have a like a rudimentary dashboard. All this is is, is user interface. It's just a way for you to interact with it. That's not a command line, which is how a uh, most of us uh, like to interact with our computers, right? Us, us nerds. Um, I've, I've gone ahead and flashed the right firmware on here. It's an NID demo from NeuralSpot. Um, we'll, we'll give you instructions on how to do that. And the first thing you have to do is connect it. So I'm going to make sure that I have all the permissions. And there it is. So our device is called Packet. Don't ask me why. I'm an AI guy, not a Bluetooth guy. It connects. Now. Again, I'm showing some audio here on the screen. You don't have to transmit the audio over Bluetooth. This is just for you know, show and tell. It's something that you can look at. Uh, one thing to look for is I plot the VAD state, whether voice activity detection is being detected at the bottom one. So once they start enrolling, keep an eye on the bottom of that spectrograph, and you'll see a white line. And while that white line is up, um, it means that the, the VAD model detected. Okay, so let's uh, let's get ready here and do some uh, enrollment. So it's, I'm going to enroll. It's going to ask me to say four phrases. I'll say those four phrases. The funny thing is, you know how these smartphone devices ask you to say specific phrases? It's, they're just messing with you. It's, it's because it's easy to say a phrase if you're looking at it. You can say anything. It's just looking for that voice prompt. So. So the demo will prompt you, but I don't have to follow that prompt. I can say whatever I want. And right now it's listening to me if you look at the BADs, and it's going to detect whether I'm saying something or not. Let me get a little closer to the microphone. OK. The field of machine learning is concerned with the question of how to construct a computer program to automatically improve the experience. And then you see at the top, utterance one of four captured. Now, uh, let's do the next one. So uh, this one is the four utterances. And just me talking there about utterances, it was enough audio for me to, for, to pick up a, a voice print. And it did it again. So you don't have to read the prompt, uh, but I will. And it didn't let me. <laughs> it was too attentive. OK, so now I'm enrolled. Um, and if I do a identify speaker, which is now green because you have at least one, uh, this demo will allow you to do up to five. 
uh, and that the firmware has like slots for five, but you can, it's very cheap to do more. So if you have an application where you want to do maybe a dozen or so, it's sort of, you know, maybe 30, 40 K for me, um, call it hundred K. I actually didn't like it. It's a small table that, you, that collects the, the voice print. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and, and, and do a test here. Now I'm identifying. If I don't talk long enough, it won't have time to identify. Right, so I'm, I'm interrupting myself on purpose. So here we go. So, there you go. 89% confidence. And uh, now let's, we can try it again, just to make sure that it's not a fluke. Red Rover, Red Rover, something, something, or I don't know. There you go. So 86 point, yeah, 87% confidence. I don't know why engineers always do the, the, the decimals. Okay, now, and don't make fun of me. Um, I'm going to do a Mickey Mouse voice. Uh, this sometimes works, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, just to see if I can fool it. Give me a second here. Okay, now I'm talking like Mickey Mouse voice. What? It's I don't what. There you go. Speaker not identified. Forty percent. Good, because I don't sound like Mickey Mouse. All right, and so that's our demo. Um, uh, just just to remind everyone, this is all open source. It's available on GitHub. Um, it uses Apollo 4 uh, 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 SOCs from, from Ambic, and it's all just ready to go. So it, if you have an Apollo 4 Blue just flying around, you should be able to get this running in a matter of minutes. All right. Thank you for your attention, and uh, happy speaker identification.